Welcome to another video, Make the Game Songbringer. Yeah. Today I'm working on my list. Um, I also I got dude last night. I went and um, updated the change log, and so it's been since November since I released an update because there's been so much goddamn content added. Just look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff in this new version. This is all stuff that I can't even announce yet because it's all secret. It's all hidden stuff that's going to be coming out in the, the next update. But this one, this is just more stuff that actually I can announce. So anyways, there's a lot of new stuff. In addition to that, I'm working on my list now. I finally get to my list. Like So everything else was working on the arena, the new boss, the new items, and all that the new content for the ring, like having the ring of difficulty, the Yale Snare, the Cursed Ring, adding all the new special attacks for all the bosses, all that stuff is like, wasn't even on my list of Trello items. So anyways, now I'm getting to some Trello items, some bugs, some little tiny touches and fixes and stuff like that. I just did this one. When you viewed the leaderboard in Russian, it, the uh, world seed was um, not visible, so <clears throat> I'm going to double check that. Yeah, so here we are, we got some Russian language. We got a leaderboard. I happen to know that one is a leaderboard. And it looks right now, it used to basically the, the world seed, like wizard in the, this top line here, was on top of the text there, so that's fixed. Um, just with that one little change there. Let's get that checked in. Actually, let's make sure it's not doing the same thing here. Oh, yeah, this is totally different. Okay, anyways. All right, cool. Okay, <clears throat> let's do this one, it's a quick thing. Basically I want the controller to thud or rumble when you fall over from um, the drinking the cup, drinking with the cup. So that's flux drink, no, flux, is that always, oh, phase drink. Here's where he drinks. Okay, here's where he hits the ground. All right. I do not actually have the ability to test this right now because I'm on Mac. Um, and the only controller I have with me at the moment is this SNES Pro 30. It does have rumble, but it only works on Windows. So anyways, I'm just gonna have to cut <laughs> Make sure this uh, works another time. I kind of want to do the same kind of rumble though that is um, used on the main menu. That's in scenes.cpp. So that's Attack, hold, release, strength, jitter. Attack, hold, release. Yeah, the release needs to be faster though. Strength, jitter. Yeah, strength, jitter, these are pretty good. That's what I was looking at mainly. So point 0.1, point 0.2, point. I think this ought to be about right. Okay. Really all I gotta do is make sure it compiles. Test this another time. Make it, make sure, let's make this look right. There we go. Oh, 
I forgot how long it takes to compile Flux when I'm streaming, recording. Okay, let's just um, get that compiling again and commit it. Okay, next up, let's fix this whole issue. Sometimes diamonds can just appear wrong place. This is seed rusty 1100. It's got some diamonds there appearing. Nine two zero. Let's go to either one of those. Let's figure out why they're doing that. fix this already. Yeah, I think I did fix this already. Okay, wait, I can confirm this actually. I can go undo the fix. Oh, where was that though? This is a while ago. Um, what was the name of that commit? What was it about? Oh, reward items. Where? Might have been something like this. Okay, no, it was before this, but it's, oh, here. Nope. <laughs> I think I can just do git log dash p. Ah, aha. Yeah, here we go. So before it did it like this, where it chose a position. Ah, you know what I needed this, this is area creation. Let's do the git log p. I think this is the right thing. Yeah, so this is showing all the changes to I think there might have been one before this, just checking. That's where it chooses the item and positions it. Oh no, is it? Yeah, there must be one before this, yeah? No? Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, okay, here's the old code. It created the item and then afterwards, it set any valid position. Yeah, okay. So this is, what commit is this? That was a relative, yeah, so it was definitely older. This is commit January 29th. Spawn reward item. this software. Spawn reward item, here we go. Okay. So we're gonna go and mimic the old behavior.
Okay, so that's it. Yeah, nine two zero. So glad this is working. Okay, so let's go turn this back on this new code. Nice, this is a bug fix without even changing any code. Well, I fixed it a while ago. So good to be able to confirm it though. That's some peace of mind right there. Good, good. I can get rid of this one. The, the player was quite unhappy about those two things because I think they did not have the top hat yet. But it's still good, so good, to just spawn the item in the right place. Okay, so we're going to add the SNS30 Pro to the auto bind. Oh, good. I, I took notes. Yes. So good that I took notes. See that? I don't need this anymore. Can I even do this? It's just called wireless gamepad. Oh man, I might not be able to actually. There's no unique word in its vendor string, which would be necessary. I think. Because we need, like, a specific word to be able to get the controller type, which then translates. So yeah, this is, it's gonna be input type controller misc. I see the vendor can be wireless controller for the, oh, that's for the PlayStation control. Hmm. I mean, 
He's getting confused. I'm not able to do this without uh, breaking something that I can't test because this is how it works if it is controller type like for example Xbox and it has six axes 15 buttons and at least one POV then that's the Xbox Mac controller that's pretty uh, you know, laser focus there. But since we ha we have to use the the miscellaneous thing because it doesn't have any specific words. I mean, X input compatible is close to something, but that's not going to work because you know we could have other devices with that string in it as well. And then if, so, basically, basically, if there's another controller out there with that has, returns the same vendor string or a similar vendor string with the same words, and then also has about the same, well, you know, the same number of axes, pops, buttons, and all that, then it could auto bind the controls for the player, and the player wouldn't know that what the heck's going on. It could could be wrong. Like the buttons could be the wrong wrong ones, and so the whole controller would be just messed up. Well, this is not a big deal anyways. I'm not sure how many people actually have the SNES 30 anyways. We got the big important ones, the Xbox, the PlayStation. Uh, alas, I wish I could test this better and add this, but it's really not a big deal. So, screw it. Let's not add the SNES Pro 30 to the Autobahn. Wait, is there... What about the SNES 30 itself? Oh, so I could do the SNES 30. I got the two Mac ones, so there's, yeah. I can't do the SNES Pro. Man, I don't have the I don't have it for Windows though. Okay, it's not a big deal. Oh, there is a Windows one. But similarly, I can't test it. Okay, but let's just copy this into the notes then. If one day in the future, I'm like, I do want to add this. I can go back and review these notes. So SNS30, SNS30 Joy, this one too. Okay, I'll just stash that. There's this funny bird that always lands outside of my window, and its head is head has lost all its feathers, except for a few scraggly feathers. It's so freaking weird looking. It's like bald headed. Except for some, it's like he's just got some disease. It's not freaking me out actually every time I see him. 
Okay. Oh yeah, multiple achievements at once and be able to save at once. Is there, where is that? Where is I? Um, saves your, I'm just trying to think of a place where it saves your game. I guess I could just get an achievement and then save the game. Okay, so basically what happens is there's a little save icon when you save your game and there's also an achievement icon when you get an achievement. And uh, they can overlap each other. And also the achievements can, if you get multiple of them at once, they'll, they'll overlap each other as well. Let's back to English so I can read. Okay, I can get it now. Show achievements. Oh, it's already on. Okay, so a place where we can get two achievements at once would be like if we only have one hit point or one tooth of health and we beat a boss. It's, it's easy enough set up. Two, four, one. And we beat this boss. We have low health. We reset the achievements each time. Let's get the code open as well. So achievement and save icon, both of these, they basically just need to know how many of them there are right now. and offset the X position depending on how many there are. So it's super easy. <laughs> Might as well try and write the code before even running it. these know how many there are well this is a child of what do do your name save name save that does game parent Okay, first thing, we need a NIMS. We need this to be consistent.
Okay, so now that we are using the same parent, we could give it a special tag for each one of these so that we could go and count how many there currently are. Okay, so we need a special tag for that. So we need to go recompile again thing. K tag. Um, Save icons, fine. And then we can make a little static int count save icons for auto ref child in parent dot get children Child get tag equals k tag save icon. Okay, so now we have that. Do and this is like a this needs to be a variable. This is taking up way too much room here. So pause.x minus equals like something times count save icons. Same thing here with uh, this. Is this the same thing? Win size width minus margin x, win size height minus margin y, yeah. Okay, there we go. So that should do it. It counts up the number of save icons slash achievement icons that are already on the screen and um, offsets the X position based on that. So we should be able to get two achievements at once and even save and all of those should happen.
together. Do you get an achievement for beating the... Might as well do all three of them at once. Is Dungeon 9 the last dungeon or the... Oh yeah, cool. So, Songbringer Dungeon is an achievement. Though that's that's got to be where you could do it. You go to Dungeon Ten, or the Fighting the Boss Ten. Want to beat her with very low health? Let's copy saves to current. Just would back this up because every time you beat this boss, it saves and changes your save game. Okay, let's see if this works. If this works on the first try, I'll go hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Less health. Like three health. Black Belt, we did not get Survivor though. But the save icon and this and the achievement icon did appear on this one at the same time. Fuck. Okay, oh, probably because I already had Survivor. Our save back. Do it again. So luckily, 50 pixels was about right. I'm thinking maybe more like 46 pixels actually.
It's got to set a breakpoint, figure out why it's not triggering that achievement. Whoa. from here didn't I to don't it didn't even it's not a boss death See, I'll for the Lord to help you. Lord is mighty strong. Do it again. I'm definitely running it from Xcode. Maybe this boss works differently. <laughs> Hitting a breakpoint this time. Yeah. Yeah. Not a boss. Oh, is that because I didn't want her to do a health explosion? What? No, what? She does have boss. Boss one. Oh my 
God, what? This is the right pro lightning spiral? Oh, this is not it. Here, you want that breakpoint. Lightning boss. Is boss true? Thank you. Do boss explosion false? Where's that other? Boss death. Where does that happen? Ah, uh, here. Oh, it's only if we do the boss explosion that it does the on boss death. Okay. It's kind of lame. Doesn't do any of this other boss victory stuff for her. I'm loath to change any of this, but I kind of need to. Damn. All, all just for this? I mean, yeah, I do need to do this, but this is a totally separate bug. I don't want to fracture my, my mind here, dealing with both of these things at once. So, let's try and find another boss that... You can do that, I think. Just save whenever we beat a boss. So we can just beat a normal boss, like this one. Oh, there 
I did wipe them. I think it looked right. I'm gonna turn off the overlay real quick here and settings, steam. Okay, let's do it one more time. So Steam already, I swear sometimes Steam is given achievements at exactly the same time. Oh. <laughs> this is one of those things where you're trying to fix one bug and two more crop up. But they were there. They were there the whole time. It's not like the act of fixing this bug is actually causing these bugs. It's just that... It's just that it happened that way. <laughs> Fixed on the first try. Except it's a little too much. Oh, this is. I got P.
See no difference between this code. This is weird. point value really oh lines dot size is an int that was an int it's so weird okay we need a little more though but that didn't five plus that didn't convert that's so weird. Pixels to flow, right? Yeah. No. 
All right, there we go. Now it's looking real nice. Not overlapping or anything anymore. Oh, you know what? I could force it to do the, these at the same time. Do a bunch of them here at the same time. Do a proper test.
They all looked really nice. Okay, so it counts out the number of save icons and offsets the width, the X position for both the achievement animation and the save icon. We need to modify constants, flux, game, all those. So let's confirm that one last time. Oh well, okay, that's enough. Enough bugs for now. I gotta take a break. This is getting me frustrated. I do need to note this though. Fix lightning boss not triggering. All right. Well, so thanks for watching this video. Um, hope you learned something maybe by looking here behind the scenes about fixing bugs and all that kind of stuff. Um, all this is part of um, two, well, one minor update coming to the Steam version and then a major update coming with all these new items and abilities and bosses and enemies and all that stuff. <coughs> Coming relatively soon once it's all ready to go because it's going to be a synchronized release on all the platforms including consoles so that's going to take a minute to get it approved. So once again thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time.